Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Travel Geek. I, um, today I'm going to be going to Kuala, actually a little bit north of Kuala Lumpur, and, and this place called the Batu Caves. It's a famous place that has, in the last couple hundred years, been anointed as uh, sort of the chosen spot for the Hindu ritual of uh, Taipusam. And Taipusam is, uh, it's got an interesting story uh, behind it where uh, one god be, betrayed another god in, in, uh, in disguise and forever made him pay. So in repentance for this, um, this, this other god or entity um, you know, spent his life making sacrifices. Um, so uh, to represent their appreciation and celebration of that event, uh, Hindus uh, take it upon themselves to uh, do, um, I don't know, personally uh, sacrificial, um, you know, ceremonial type activities. Uh, one of which is piercing the face, um, uh, with, and then hanging vegetables on the on the staff. Uh, they also replicate this celebration uh, all over Thailand in October. They have a vegetarian festival on October. It's very similar meaning behind it. Um, they believe that they are, you know, uh, entranced or, or, or fulfilled or like filled within by the spirit of the gods or the ancestors or what have you and therefore they're able to take any amount of pain and so uh, in, in addition to that they also place hooks inside their skin and their back and they pull a, a cart uh, full of I don't know, various items on it down the road and uh, they carry these large ornamental things up 274 steps to the foot of the Batu Caves. Uh, I guess that would technically be the head of the Batu Caves. The foot of the stairs is on the ground level and the cave itself is way up in, inside of a mountain. So I'm, I might be uh, getting to do that one. Uh, it's an extremely hot day today. I'm, I'm leaving in about three hours and once I make my way out there I will um, <clears throat> I will see how I feel about it. Maybe I'll just get pierced in my cheek or something. In any case, uh, uh, for this trip, I have planned to bring some gear. I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of uh, B-roll in the area and also probably trying to like find some people who I can interview and do some, um, some A-roll with. So in any case, I'm bringing uh, a Canon X, uh, XF100 uh, with a Sennheiser wireless lav mic. Uh, I have also outfitted my vest with the receiver, uh, technically the transmitter mic. Mic is here, the transmitter is here, the receiver is here, so I should have a, a good uh, you know, reception, a good voice, uh, no matter where I'm at and who I'm talking to. So that's nice. That's a little bit heavy, but we're mounting it to this unit here, probably even be bringing the, the tripod itself. We'll, we'll see how that goes. The um, I'm bringing a still camera, I'm bringing my D700, uh, also uh, my camera person uh, who's going to be uh, meeting me up there is going to be using the, the small DV camera. I've got about 64 gigs of uh, recording space on this with two five hour batteries. Uh, the DXF100 is it's got also in addition to that two uh, extended uh, life batteries. I think they're somewhere around 280 minutes a piece. Um, depending on use, of course. Uh, the, the wireless labs require double and triple A. Also, I'm using, um, uh, I may be using the, the ASDN shotgun uh, mic. It's a super cardioid mic that takes a triple A AAA battery, so I always need to keep batteries in there for that. Uh, in addition to the D, uh, D700, I'm bringing a uh, Nikon 24 um, to 70 2 8 lens and an 80 to 200 2 8 lens. Uh, I think I'm going to leave my fisheye at home for this one, but I'm bringing plenty of batteries and things for that as well. I also might be bringing um, my little Tascam DR100 recorder just to get some, you know, background sounds and uh, you know, music and celebration sounds and things like that should be should be pretty cool. So in any case, uh, I'll be putting this video together uh, very soon. Uh, this one, of course, is going to be going up on the website and the blog for the update on uh, things that are happening. The video uh, that I'm going to make today is going to be only a small part of the uh, Travel Geek documentary Malaysia that's hopefully going to uh, be released at the end of the year. So, uh, till then, 
Uh, enjoy the updates and there will be more videos to come.